have one uh, resolution tonight, and that's resolution 2010-07. That's an authorization to condemn uh, certain property located in Blanoxborough for the purpose of the construction and maintenance of a public parking lot. The um, property is known as lot and block numbers 292-E-132, 292-P-134, and the address for that property is um, so one seventeen seven eighteen Birch Street located in Chicago. Sorry, Sam has reminded me that that is not a public parking lot. It is a municipal. This resolution basically does is give the, uh, the borough the authority, if necessary, to file what we call a declaration of taking, to take the uh, property so identified, um, and to pay under the eminent domain code uh, just compensation. And we will go through that procedure uh, if we cannot come to an agreement on a purchase price with the property owner. So this is merely giving us the authorization to file the declaration and nothing more. Anybody have any questions on the resolution? I'll entertain a motion that we pass resolution 2010-07, the authorization to condemn. I'll make the motion. Second. Second. Call for question. Roll call vote, please. Scott? Yes. Denny? Yes. Katie? Yes. Bev? Yes. Randy? I think all of all the um, ordinances and resolutions we have. Okay. Anything under old business? Uh, I have one item under old business. Um, the, the borough has received the recommendation of the Planning Commission uh, for the renovation and addition of the existing borough building. The Planning Commission has recommended and approved the plans as submitted that they meet with all borough uh, codes ordinances. So we would need a motion this evening to approve the conditional use of the renovation and addition to the existing Blonox Municipal Building as recommended by the Blonox Planning Commission. Now there were two recommendations that were submitted. One was to install a flashing red light for the fire trucks to pull out onto Freeport Road. Um, another was to install two cameras with intercoms at the front entrance one at the back entrance for use by police visitors. And the other was to have two restrooms for the firefighters in the fire garage, one for women, women and one for men. It's my understanding that there is a, um, I call it an all-purpose, uh, unisex. 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 Unisex restroom that is currently planned. That's correct. So um, those are the three uh, recommendations you can approve the conditional use with those recommendations or any combination of those recommendations. So, okay, if we do that, play. do we have to accept, do we have to do those things? If or can we just accept a recommendation? You can accept the recommendation to approve without those, those specific recommendations. Well, would they be a condition of use then? No. No. Remember, the Planning Commission is only a recommending body. You decide ultimately to approve or disapprove the conditional use of the with or without the recommendation. The reason I'm asking is we would have to get state approval for that red light. And if, they, if we accept it with that condition or with that recommendation, we 
may not be able to do it. Is what I'm getting at. Well, if you, if you're concerned must about that, it? must we do it if we accept it? That if you're way? concerned about that, then we would add language to install flashing red lights when trucks to safely pull out on Freeport Road, contingent upon uh, Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, I guess, and approval. So that if they do not give you approval, then you can install the light, and it has no effect on the remaining renovations and additions to the building. But if we do that and accept it with that recommendation, uh, pending getting approval from Pendor or whomever, uh, that could add, uh, I mean, I know when you've ended, that would be considered a traffic signal type of a situation. That could add $125,000, $130,000 to the project. Well, well certainly. I don't know what the cost would be. So my, my suggestion would be that those are recommendations made. You can uh, consider the recommendations. You don't have to approve the conditional use with those. You can still go forward and investigate the cost and uh, potential of doing that. And that would not affect the approval of the renovations and additions. Sam, if I could make a suggestion, I would like to suggest that council approve Approval and, and, and state that we will take the recommendations under consideration. Yeah, we can do that. Does that make sense? I mean, there, there are good recommendations. Yeah, good recommendations. Yeah. I mean, now all we got to do is report. Yeah. Huh? The, 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 the unisex bathroom, are looking at the plans that we have for the fire and there for the area for the bathroom facility made two bathroom facilities in that, I don't think you could meet the, the handicap auspices of without Good taking vote. areas off of, of their eating area and their meeting area. I mean, it, unisex, it, it, they're in a situation there, how many members are in that? In that 30. Huh? 30. 30 members in that thing, and you have, have a unisex, the unisex thing would be for the bathroom facility and for handicap because it has to be handicap accessible too. So that would mean you'd have to do two separate bathrooms, both of them handicap accessible, or make one of them handicap accessible. When, God bless, I hope we get a lot of women in, 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 the, in the fire company, but, but uh, when they got that facility over there is gonna be just for their use. And if you're talking about 30 people well, that are members. We're still gonna have facilities here. here for in yeah. case you know we needed to do that, so uh, I would say uh, it would be my pleasure to entertain a motion unless those recommendations, but again, taking them under advisement sure. as we go forward. Okay, so the motion then would just read to accept the uh, or to yeah accept the recommendation of the Borough of Monarchs Planning Commission to approve the renovations and additions to the existing borough building. Let's just pass that. We'll make part of the record that the council will review the three recommendations uh, while they go through the construction process. All right, we need a motion. Motion. Second. Call for question. Roll call vote, please. Scott? Yes. Denny? Yes. Katie? Yes. Bev? Yes. Randy? Yes. Sam? Yes. All in favor? Motion carries. Okay. Anything else under old business? New business? Uh, we, we had a family from the borough approach us about having a farm market at the monument, which I personally think is a very nice idea. Uh, the letters in your packet, and um, the, they get their vegetables from a farm in Catanning that's run by disabled vets. And I, I think that's really awesome. Um, I talked to Jack, and he said he seemed to feel that that was something that council would be allowed to vote on to see if that's something you would want to do and entertain. Uh, so I just wanted to put that out there and see how you felt about it. Yeah. The Lawlers have submitted Christian 